What's up YouTube? Hopefully your day is going as awesome as mine. I was getting ready to go to the range and figured this would be a good opportunity to share a blade hack that I think is fairly worthy. It'd save you some money, some time, some space in the bag. Here. So here's my bag. I was going through just oiling things, getting ready, um, just so when I got there everything was all set. And I got over to my blades. Here's a silky saw that I did use. Uh, as you can see, we have some oils and lubricants out. Um, and a lot of these are made for a firearm. And they're expensive. They're, they're, they're expensive for a reason. Specifically, uh, Lucas Gun Grease here is about 10, 12 bucks for an ounce of this stuff for a good reason. This has uh, an operational temperature of negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of the other brands will only go down to negative 10. So this stuff, you definitely wanna hang on to it for when you actually need it. But most people will tell you, yeah, just use gun oil. Just use gun oil, put it on your blade, it'll protect your blade. Uh, and that works, except gun oil is made for moving parts, it's made for guns. Uh, you know, there's corrosion resistance there, and, you know, that's cool and all, but as far as a blade goes, it just doesn't cut it. Why? Because the oil is too thin. Uh, you will be oiling your blades a lot. Now, you could switch over to gun grease, but then you are paying 10, 12 bucks an ounce to grease your knives, your blades. Uh, what a lot of people don't know about Yes, A and D ointment, baby. Vitamin A and D ointment. This stuff works. It is around $2 an ounce. I would never use it on a firearm, uh, but I do use it on my blades. You can see some of it on the blade right there. I put it on kind of thick. And guess what? It will stay there, All right? Um, let's see. I think I have a sheath knife over here. Yep. So this I covered a while ago, like it's been months and you can see that uh, she is still protected. There is a good thick coat of A and D ointment on this blade. It's been here for probably a couple months now. And the good news is if I ever have to use this, well, I can call the police and say that I applied first aid because <laughs> Because technically there's there's vitamin A and D ointment there. So uh, not as good as Neosporin for the cuts. But hey, uh, so this is like the main reason why I carry this stuff around. What if I get a cut? I can use some of this. Uh, and ultimately, if I need to protect my blades, my knives, uh, even my saw, this stuff goes on and it will stay there. It'll stay there for a long time. Uh, it will form a nice strong coat and give you protection right and i've been doing this for a long time all of my blades are a1 uh this blade has never rusted uh it looks absolutely phenomenal especially if i cleaned it off uh and for as long as i've had this blade i would expect uh some discoloration but that's just not the case because i've always kept this thing uh covered in vitamin a and d ointment and that's pretty easy to do when one coat of it will last you, I don't know, four or five, maybe six months. Yeah, especially if it's uh, sitting in a sheath. You are all set, good to go, and you didn't pay $12 an ounce like you would for the gun grease. Now, if anybody knows of anything better, I don't know, leave me a comment, but vitamin A and D ointment has always been an awesome uh, blade hack for me, and I just know that it works. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been using this for a long time. Uh, and all my blades hold up. So uh, if you got something better, leave me a comment. Let me know. But like I said, this stuff's about $2 an ounce. This stuff's about $10 an ounce, right? So, and it's going to work better than the oil. I mean, the oil's nice. It will work. Uh, but it will dry up quickly. And you, you'll just, you will be servicing that blade quite a lot. So, anybody have any tips or tricks on uh, blade care? 
something that'll save you time and money? Leave it in the comments. I'll gladly read over them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have an awesome day. I'm going to have an awesome day because I'm going to the range tomorrow, baby. Later.